Hey gang, it's your buddy Platt here with a special video today. Today I'll be doing a product review of Super Clean Tough Task Degreaser Cleaner and Degreaser. A uh, real quick little disclaimer, I'm not being paid for this particular video. However, the folks at Super Clean did reach out to me and send me their product along with this uh, snazzy shirt and a hat to try uh, free of charge. So I just want to get that disclaimer out there. If you're interested in Super Clean's product, I will leave a link down below to their website and you can find out about their products. If you would like to purchase their product online from Amazon, I will also leave links down below to that. If you click on those links, it does benefit the channel and I thank you in advance. Uh, real quick, a little bit about Super Clean. Super Clean is an American-based company. I believe they're headquartered in Egan, Minnesota. And you can probably tell by all the purple, I got a feeling they're Minnesota Viking fans. Uh, a little bit about the actual product itself. Super Clean is biodegradable, which is good for the uh, environment. It's phosphate-free. And more importantly, uh, if you've ever dealt with super strength or high strength degreasers, most of them are, are acidic base. If, God forbid, you ever got on your skin and your eyes, the fumes are pretty tough. Uh, working in restaurants and bars as long as I have, I have dealt with those products, and they can be really tough on you, you know, again, your skin, your eyes. Uh, super clean is on the alkaline end. It is not acidic, uh, which is, you know, not just better on the environment, but better on you. Um, that being said, it's still an industrial strength product, probably the... Uh, best degreaser on the market so it still does the job but it's not acidic which is nice now for this review I've decided we'll, we'll talk first about the different uses for super clean then we'll come back and talk about their product line and finally we'll head to the kitchen have a cleaning day utilizing super clean so with that being said let's get started and talk about the uses of super clean all right so I thought I'd start off with the many uses of super clean uh, if you were to tap, type in the little search bar on YouTube, Super Clean, you would see that Super Clean is really huge in the automotive industry, more specifically the auto detailing uh, segment of the auto industry. Uh, you'll see a lot of videos, people detailing cars, cleaning their engine compartments, uh, cleaning the floorboards, uh, where it's really huge, where a lot of the videos you'll see out there are, are cleaning wheels. Uh, your average wheel these days with these uh, new brakes, a lot of brake dust clicks on there, kind of bakes on there, and it's tough to get off, but Super Clean makes it nice and easy. Just spray a little bit of Super Clean on your wheels, let that soak in, let that kind of pull that grease and grime off your wheels. Come back with a little cold water and, uh, and a sponge to take that off, and it makes your wheels look just really nice. But Super Clean has a great... Um, name in the auto detailing industry. As far as other uses for uh, super clean, indoor uses include garbage disposals, fireplace, pre-soaking pots and pans, and cleaning your stove tops. Uh, outdoor uses includes cleaning that barbecue grill, plastic patio furniture, and cleaning garbage cans. Uh, again, the automotive industry, it's huge. Things like your shop equipment, floor mats, uh, upholstery, chrome, if you're more of an outdoor port person, RV, boats, what have you, uh, cleans waterline stains, algae stains, uh, canvas boat covers, even your plastic coolers that you take on the beach with you. Um, if you're looking for a place to buy Super Clean on the shelves, most of your major auto parts retailers, your AutoZones, your O'Reilly's, and your Napa Auto Parts carry Super Clean. Uh, your major hardware store chains, your Lowe's, Ace, and True Value Hardware also carry Super Clean on their shelves along with big box retailers like Walmart. Now because Super Clean is so strong and so versatile, uh, sometimes you might have to dilute it depending on the uh, surface type. If you go to Super Clean's website, they'll have a dilution chart there. It kind of talks you through all the different surfaces and how strong or week you should make a solution. Uh, if you want to utilize Super Clean at full strength, it's perfect on things like floor drains, farm equipment, engines, exhaust stains. At a three to one mixture, three parts water, one part Super Clean, it's great for stove hoods, driveways, uh, carpets, trailers. At an eight to one ratio, eight parts water, one part Super Clean, it's good on appliances vinyl siding, dashboards, and truck liners. And at the week is sitting 16 to one, you'd use it uh, as a laundry pre-soak. Let's say you got a grease stain on a shirt, 
you'd pre-soak it before you threw it in, uh, plastics, which I have a lot of in the kitchen, tackle boxes, and stainless steel. Well, now that we review the different uses for Super Clean, let's talk about the Super Clean product line. All right, so let's talk about the product line of Super Clean. Uh, they have five products in their portfolio. They sent me three of them. Let's start with those first. Uh, first and foremost is the original formula, Super Clean. Uh, this is a 32 ounce spray bottle. It comes in a variety of sizes. You can buy one gallon, five gallon, all the way up to 250 gallon uh, for industrial purposes. Let's say you own a car dealership or an oil chain shop, something like that. Uh, you might want to buy in bulk like that, and they offer that, and usually a more economical way to go. But uh, just for home use, the 32 ounce bottle is more than enough, and the best part is you can take the lid off to dilute however you want. Uh, I would suggest maybe one of these little spray bottles uh, for that. Next, we have the aerosol can. It's the same strong formula as regular Super Clean, just an aerosol can. Uh, you may find using an aerosol can is a little bit better. You're spraying certain surfaces, maybe something that's you know slanted or not an even surface. Uh, the aerosol can help prevent runs and drips. And the, you know you could spray it on the surface. You know it's going to stay there, work, and pick that grease up. Uh, this can is a 17 ounce can compared to the 32 ounce bottle. The third product they sent me was Super Clean Floor Absorbent. This is four four times more absorbent than clay. It's virtually dust free. And it's all natural and organic. Uh, what you'd use this for is any kind of uh, chemical spill or kind of a, a grease spill or something like that, whether it's in a kitchen or a warehouse, uh, sidewalk, driveway, what have you. Uh, probably the best example for use of this is, again, the driveway. If you're a shade tree mechanic changing your oil, have a little oil spill. Don't want the HOA bad at you. You would throw on a little bit of super clean floor sorbent and let that sit for a minute or two, and then you should be able to sweep that away. Um, if you, for whatever reason, let the stain sit a little too long, whatever, that the floor sorbent can't pick up, you can always come back with super clean and pick that stain right up. So those two products are complementary. Now, the two other products that they didn't send me, but they have, uh, first is super clean foaming. It uh, comes in a similar bottle like that like this, but it shoots a foam out. It's similar to the aerosol spray, that foam can really sit in one spot. It doesn't drip off or whatever. Really absorb and pull that grease off. And uh, still the same strong formula as the regular Super Clean. Uh, last product in their product line is uh, something, I talked about how Super Clean is used a lot in auto detailing. Um, again, cleaning engine compartments, floor mats, stuff like that, including wheels. Well, Super Clean has designed a specific product just for wheels. Now, doing a little bit of research, uh, from what I gather in the detailing world, there are some uh, detailers that just prefer an acidic-based uh, wheel cleaner different from the alkaline-based uh, product that Super Clean has. So they designed an acidic one. It's their all-wheel cleaner. Um, it is, though, organic-based, uh, acidic organic-based uh, wheel cleaner, spray on, let it sit a minute or two, takes that gunk right off your wheels. So now that we've talked about the different products of Super Clean, it's time to use the products. So let's get to using them. Well, all right, it's time to try out the product. Now, if you follow the channel regularly, you know I'm not much of a mechanic or an outdoorsman, but I do make some magic in the kitchen. So that's where we'll head to, to try Super Clean Tough Task Cleaner and Degreaser. All right, the first thing we're going to start off with this is this greasy Vina Hood grate. I probably haven't cleaned that in years. We'll just shoot it with a little bit of Super Clean right on that greasy stain. Give it a few squirts there. Then we're going to let it sit in the water for just a minute or two. Let that really soak in and come back, hit it with our sponge and our cold water, and look at that stain go away. Like I said, I haven't cleaned that in years, but Super Clean cuts right through that stain. And you can see in the water how much grease it's pulled out of that greasy vent. Just a few little scrubs and it looks almost as good as new. Next, we'll head over to my George Foreman grill. You can see plenty of grease and gunk on top of the grill. We're going to spray it with a 16 to 1 dilution of super clean and cold water. Just a few sprays hitting the top there. A lot of grease and grime collects on top of that grill, surprisingly enough. 
We're going to let that sit for a little bit and then come back with our wet sponge and cold water and rinse off our super clean. Get all that gunk right off there. And we'll come back with our paper towel to show you clean as new. All right, our next little project is to clean my dehydrator lid and the trays inside. You don't see a lot of visible dirt, but there is a ton of greasy film over that. I normally soak these racks in or trays in detergent and water. I let them sit for a while, but I never seem to get that film off. They clean, I, I get the visible dirt off, but I never see, seem to get that film off. So we're going to try a 16 to 1 solution of super clean and water to see if we could cut through that slime, that greasy feel. Come back after a few minutes, rinse off with cold water and a sponge, and that greasy film goes right away. Uh, again, you can't really see the visible dirt, but the film goes away uh, to the touch. You'll notice that greasiness is gone. But what I really like about Super Clean is it doesn't take the finish off that plastic. And it's really important on these dehydrator racks because you don't want to take that finish off because the next time you use it, then your jerky will end up sticking and end up tearing or whatever. We don't want that either. So you want to be able to clean that rack without stripping off that finish and super clean helps us do that. Moving on to my next project, the top of the stove hood. Look at that grease and grime. I probably haven't cleaned that in forever. So we're going to need a little more of industrial strength cleaning. We'll break out the aerosol can of super clean and use it at full strength on top of that hood. Uh, just hit it with a few sprays. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes so it can really lift up that grease and cut right through it. We'll come right back with our sponge and cold water and look at that. Just wipes away all that years of grease and grime. Looking sharp. That hood hadn't looked that good in years. We're going to finish rinsing that off and then we're going to come back with our paper towel and show you all that grease is gone thanks to Super Clean. And our last little projects is to hit the back of that stove. Look at all that grease and grime. I haven't touched that in forever either. So we're going to break out once again the aerosol can of Super Clean. Hit that with a quick spray. We're going to let that sit, give it time to pull up that grease, then come back with our cold water and sponge to rinse that off. Look at all that grease and grime come away. It just does a great job of cutting right through that grease. Get every little bit of that off. Next, we're going to come back with our paper towel. Give her a quick once over to show you we've cut through that grease thanks to Super Clean. All right, to wrap up, we reviewed Super Clean Tough Task Cleaner and Degreaser. Um, we tried it on, on a couple different surfaces. I uh, utilized it on my dehydrator, my Foreman grill. Uh, we cleaned a vent a hood, the, the, the vent, the grate. We cleaned the top of the hood. We cleaned the back of the, the uh, stove. Overall, I guess I'm impressed with the product. I'm really impressed with how it cleaned the plastic. Those uh, trays that I use to make beef jerky on, I can't tell you how many times I've made jerky and I'll soak them in the, in the uh, sink with dish soap and water and I'll let them sit for a long time and I'll come back and I'll scrub and man, they're still oily and the water's oily and there's oil everywhere and I can't seem to get that oil off. Now, I don't want to use a heavy industrial acidic degreaser because that will take the finish off that plastic, and I don't want that. What I really like about Super Clean is I was able to get that grease off those racks in my, in my dehydrator itself without taking off that finish on the plastic. Uh, my homebrewers out there will know if you do that on like the inside of a fermenter, you take that kind of finish off or get micro scratches in there, that's where bacteria can form. We don't want that, and that's what I like about what Super Clean has done. I also think Super Clean did a good job on that stove top and the back of the stove. Uh, as far as the grate goes, yeah, there's still a stain left there, but I only sprayed a little bit on. I hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done a three to one, you know, dilution of that and let that really soak for a while, but I haven't cleaned that thing in a hundred years, so it, I think it still did a decent job uh, cleaning that. So overall, I do recommend Super Clean for your degreasing needs. Uh, if you want to learn more about the company again, check out. I'll have a link to the, their website down below. If you'd like to purchase product on Amazon, I will have links for that down below too. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good product. 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.